Yeah, so basically the scale tool is used to resize proportionally. Uh, all you have to do is just press K. K, not whatever I pressed. Select your layer, press K. And then you, you can just scale things. Uh, or just go right here and just click on scale. The difference is between the the move and the scale tool is that you can also drag the corners on the move, but uh, it won't be resized proportionally, and you you'll have to hold shift. And sure that works, right? So now we're on scale. It, it it's the same thing basically, but it's kind of not because uh, let's say you have a text layer. Now you want to do the same thing. Uh, yeah, you can't, even if you hold shift. It, it won't resize, but if you go to scale, uh, you can resize it. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if that's such a really good idea to resize text like that, because you'll end up with the fraction uh, dimension size. For example, you maybe you want to have a 48 font size in pixels. Uh, if you resize it like that with a scale tool, you'll end up with like 52.76, and you cannot have uh, f like... Uh, Decim de decimals uh, in pixels because one pixel cannot be smaller than one pixel so it would I mean, uh, you cannot really do that in the actual code it will just look blurred and uh, uh, weird so yeah I mean it's just something to keep in mind but uh, so yeah that's how you access the the scale tool just press K or just go right here and uh, then you can just resize yeah resize the layers you have and like it's it's good because let's say you have a group uh, and uh, you resize things it they might not scale properly sometimes like I said when it when it's come it's it's about the alignment uh, I don't know it will get complicated the more layers you have so that's that's what basically the scale tool is for so yeah that's that's how you use it and that's how you find it so